Hello, my viewers. I'm right now at the backyard barbecue in Newberry, Florida. And with me is Neil. Yeah, I'm a friend of Jim from YouTube, so I just come to visit him. My first time seeing him here. So I'm glad that uh, we met each other. I'm from Illinois. All right. So we're having, we're getting ready to yeah, have our barbecue. That's right. Chow down. One of my viewers is having a problem with their condensate drain. As you can see here in, in this picture, it shows where the condensate drain comes out and drains on the ground. But as you can see, when it rains, okay, the dirt fills up this little area that she's dug out here and makes it difficult for the concept to drain properly. Here's the blower in her air handler and right here is the P-trap that's inside of her air handler. What I recommend here first of all is to eliminate this P-trap. We're going to put the P-trap outside. Let me show you. What I've done is I've made up a an estimation of what that P trap looks like. Okay? Should be able to sort of be able to see the contrast here. You have the tubing coming down, okay, and going through this little trap here. And then after going through this trap, the condensate continues outside. Let's start off with eliminating this trap. First let's take a marker or a pen or pencil or something. Let's mark where we want to cut. There and probably and then of course you could just sort of draw a line or use something to line this up and mark where you want to cut on both pieces of pipe. After you've marked where you want to cut, you bet you're better off to use some PVC cutters. Or if you happen not to have any PVC cutters, a hacksaw will, will do in a pinch. You just have to make sure that you cut in a straight line. Don't cut it all at an angle or anything like that or you'll have problems. After you've made your cuts, you can remove the trap and then what you want to do then you want to use a coupling three quarter inch coupling then you want to connect this pipe and of course connect the other piece together All right. then you see you'll it'll be it'll be a straight piece and no longer will have the trap like you do in this picture but you'll have just a straight piece now that's not to say you don't need a trap and another option right here which is kind of a smart option instead of just uh, connecting the pipe together with a coupling you can use an, a T and then you put a small piece of pipe here followed by a three-quarter inch 90 and then another small piece of pipe and then you put a cap on here and you glue all this together of course using PVC glue now but do not glue the cap on if you glue on a cap that's going to defeat the whole purpose of doing this is this way you'll be able to remove the cap you'll be able to remove the cap and and use this to is possibly to clean out your condensate drain as well. This is another, this is an option. You might want to choose that rather than just putting in a three quarter inch coupling. This is where all the condensate drains outside. And this is what it sort of looks like. I've made up a piece here to show you what you'll need to do. In some cases you'll be able to simply pull this 90 right out 
because it's, sometimes it's not even glued in place. If it's glued in place, you'll have to take a saw or PVC cutters and cut the 90 off. And then you'll have a piece of pipe just coming out of the wall like that. The next step would be is get a 3 quarter inch 90 and attach it right where you cut the one off or if the other one wasn't glued in place you could just turn it so that the drain faces up like this instead of down. Then get you some 3 quarter inch PVC pipe about a foot of it and then you're going to slip that piece of pipe and right in here. Now so far what you have coming out of the wall see is going to be that piece of pipe plus a 90 and about one foot of three quarter inch PVC pipe. Also then what you want to do is put this put a three quarter inch 90 on the top Okay. then you can take another three quarter inch 90 and a little short piece of pipe and connect it like this just to sort of dress it up a little bit and you'll have this so this way your condensate drain okay will look more like this coming out of your wall instead of this you'll have something like this coming out of your wall okay like that and now you don't really need to trap this out here the reason is because simply by bringing this tube up like this you're you're already you're you already have a trap because the water you see is already going down okay somewhere low obviously to the towards the ground and then it comes back up and out and you see that's all you need this this is gonna be your trap right here your matter of fact probably your whole house is the trap itself so you don't really need to install a separate trap so to speak